Hello everyone and welcome to Jira Tech. Okay, so we are now in the part three. Okay, although this this actually comes out in people one as well. Um, the file management. We're just going to look at some key things that normally comes out in file management. Okay, so let's go. Okay, managing files effectively. Um, this may talk talks about the file structures when you look at this. So if you're using standalone computers or um, whatever is stored in your local disk, creating of folders. Okay, um, of course. This shows the icon there, which shows your file uh, explorer and how you can be able to manage your files inside of your file explorer. So you have to create a folder and move all your files there as much as possible. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, you can locate your store files and how can you be able to locate them? Here you have what we call um, the top of this is the top of the window and this one is the left panel that you can locate your drive and this as well is to show the type um, the type of files um, type of your file that some of this information will be used later in it so it shows you your file type how it has been saved and of course um, you can in, you can open and import stored files okay all you have to click is the file tab and then you can click on open okay uh, moving on um okay yes this is what we call this is where you right click the mouse within the area indicated by the red uh the red rectangle is to display the file details in a directory or the folder the folder is also called the directory okay so let's take note of that um moving on okay um another thing is okay this opens now i want to explain this because most of the time you have been told to do this okay so this opens a drop down menu similar to this okay so um to select or to add the date the file was originally created okay from the tuesday window you have to scroll down to the list to locate this um scroll for that and then you can select dimensions as much as possible so what you're going to do to get this um so you can actually right click this place okay you can right click it um, within the areas indicated by the red angle so you can actually right click it um, so let me just show you a sample um, a sample of it so probably right here um, there you have your files just gonna open um, see to show you um, a sample of what I'm talking about let me just use October November and um, I can just show you a created folder on it I can just change the view to details and right here okay you could right click on it and then you can actually select the ones that you want and then select the ones that you don't want although what I do I don't use this method per se to do it but I use my right click and I will go to sort by and then I'll go to more to get this done but for Windows 11 you can also right here just right click on it and then you can select uh, I want to add a title a title will be there you can right click on it to say no i don't want the title and it's not going to be there okay so it's important to know that all right all right then the next one is the snipping tool okay the snipping tool and i want to talk about it so open the snipping tool using the windows logo key or shift and s to get it so what obviously to get it you have your your windows key your shift and your s and then you have the snippy tool right here but I don't stress myself, I just go to Windows and type my snipping tool and then I can have my snipping tool, okay? Alright, and we use it um, to drag the lasso around the source file windows to screenshot it like we use it to take screenshot, okay? It allows us to be able to save screenshot by selecting the file type and save as, okay? It's really easy. I prefer the snipping tool because you can just take a, a crop of um, a certain part that you want to put in your evidence document. You can save, export, and print files in various format. Okay, so you could use the save to save your files with the same file name. Save as is a new file name that you've been given in the question. Print is to print the current file. You can export it on the other hand to PDF. Talking about your your printouts if you want to do that and as much as possible. File format. Let's talk about the file format. Okay, um, the need for characteristics and the use of generic file format. Right, a generic file format can be opened in a suitable software on most platforms that is the reason why they use 
either the CSVs, the text, or the rich text file, uh, format because they can be opened on, um, on, on most platforms. Okay, Quizos will require you to open a data file that is supplied to you. This file will always be in generic file format. Some file types used by Microsoft Office, such as Excel and Word document and access um, database, are not generic. So it is not always possible to open this um, package on other platforms. Now, notice that for do um, document production, the make use of the Microsoft Word, for data analysis, the Excel spreadsheet, um, for data manipulation, we use the access database, okay? So generic file format, we have the comma, the comma separated values, okay? This, this is .csv, that has a file extension, and this type of file takes data in the form of tables, okay? It takes it in the form of tables that could be used with a spreadsheet or a database, and it is saved in a text format, separated data items with commas, okay? Text, they are seen as a TXT, most of the time you use it for um, your website authoring to just copy text and put it on your table, okay? Um, a text file is not formatted and can be opened in any word processor, okay? Be it the, um, the normal word processor or the enhanced word processors. Which text format, okay? So these files have what we call the RTF file extension, okay? This is a text file that saves some of the formatting within the text, okay? So there's, um, there's a text file format that saves some of the formatting within the text, okay? The other some com um, common generic image file format we use is what we call the GIF. Okay, so this format stores or stores stills or moving images and is an efficient method of storing images using a smaller file size, particularly when there are large areas of solid colors and it is a widely used in web pages. We have the G JPG, sometimes called JPEG. This simply means Joint Photography Expert Group. Hmm, you didn't see that coming, right? At least you didn't see that coming. Now you know, <laughs> okay? So it's seen as the Joint Photographic Group. That is JPEG. But when you put in the J um, JPG, when you put in the JPEG, you have it as your Joint Photographic Expert Group, okay? Now, this format stores all, if I, it stores all still images, but does not store moving images. The GIF on the other hand, which is the graphic in interchange format, stores both still or moving word images, right? It's an efficient method of storing images using a smaller file size and is usually used in web pages. So we use this actually in uh, both in um, uh, presentations and of course in website altering. PDF, portable document format. Okay, this is a document which has been converted into an image format. It allows document to be seen as an image so that it can be read on most computers. So obviously you convert the document as an image format. So the PDF is actually an image format, right? So that it can be read on most computers, okay? And the page will look just as when they were printed, but can contain some clickable links, buttons, um, um, form, fields, videos, and of course, audios. Portable network graphics, your P PNG, right, is the file format that compresses what we call the graphic uh, image without the loss of the image quality. That is PNG. So it gives you, it can compress without the loss of what the image quality. It is created to replace uh, graphics interchange format, which is your GIF, and is now the most used lossless image compression format on the internet. So we use the PNG for that, okay? Now, common generic video files is your MP4. Your MP4 is known as Moving Pictures Expert Group Layer 4. You did not see that coming, right? You never thought it has, you, you never thought it was just an abbreviation, right? So if I, you didn't even know it was an acronym for something, like literally you didn't know, right? You were like, okay, it's MP4. So the, the MP4 means moving picture what um layer four okay so you're, you're moving pictures um expert group layer four okay so they're moving pictures okay um so the layer is four okay and um the, this is not a single file format but it is a multimedia container which is used for storing video files okay not just files but still images audio files subtitle etc this container is often used to transfer video files on the internet. 
for the audio files we use mp3 right and this is the moving picture expert group layer 3 and it is compressed file format used for storing audio files right the format cannot store still or moving images it cannot uh, um, the file size are really small but with a near CD quality which makes it suitable for the use on the internet okay um, CSS cascading style sheet if you're watching my paper 3 you know I've been talking about cascading style sheet like thousands of times like literally thousands of times okay so um, this is a style sheet which is saved in a cascading style sheet right um, format and is attached to one or more web pages okay often written in the HTML to define the page color scheme of fonts that's what the style sheet do they are more like the presentation layout okay so they are used to actually define the web page color scheme hypertext markup language well this file has what we call the HTML sometimes it's dot either dot HTM or sometimes dot HTML okay which is the hypertext markup language and it's a text-based language that we use text-based right they are all text-based that is used to create content that a web browser can be able to display on a web page okay um the rosa archive okay the rosa archive um this is a container that can hold almost any file type in a compressed format almost it is used to reduce the numbers of bytes needed to save a file so it's called the rosa archive it can be used for a compressed format it can be used to reduce the numbers of bytes needed to save a file either to save a storage space or to reduce the transmission time okay it was developed by windows by a russian software engineer um eugene rosa and takes in an acronym rosa archive which is dot ra dot zip this is a container that can hold almost any file type in a compressed format it helps to reduce the numbers of bytes needed to save a file so what, what happens in the zip is it will compress the file right in such a way that it can help to save the storage space and to reduce the transmission time so when you want when you unzip it, right, you cannot have the actual story size. Okay. Then reduce file storage for transmission. We talk about the file compression as much as possible. Um, and how do we why do we do that? With the file compression, where you have your export and you export it to PDF. Okay. Um, to compress, um, to compress as well, you can just right click. And you can send to a compressed folder, or if you have a WinRAR, you can actually use the WinRAR to actually do that. All right, so we're going to be calling, and this is the end of file management. I needed to show you guys some key things and some acronyms or some popular words um, or popular extensions that you guys know and never thought that it was probably, um, for example, your MP4 your jpeg you never saw that comment like literally never saw that comment so let me know in your comment section which of the most extensions that you've been using and you never thought had it was an acronym for something okay so do want to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel i'm going to see you next time bye